Natasha Romanoff and Yelena Belova are abducted from their Ohio home in 1995 by their surrogate parents, Alexei Shostakov, formerly known as Russia's Captain America as the Red Guardian, and former Black Widow Melina Vostokov. Romanov is a fugitive from the government for violating the Sokovia Accords after the battle between the Avengers at Leipzig Halle Airport 21 years ago. She flees to the United States. Secretary of State Thaddeus Ross flees to Norway and reunites with his contact, Rick Mason. Belova is still working for the Red Room in Morocco. Belova murders Oksana, a former Black Widow, only to come into contact with a substance known as Red Dust, which kills her. The Red Room's hold on her she sends this antidote to Romanov's safe house, hoping she will return to assist her. Taskmaster, who is after the Red Dust, attacks Romanov as she drives away with the antidote. Romanov eludes the Taskmaster and discovers that the dust came from Belova. When the two meet again in Budapest, they are attacked by Black Widows. Romanov discovers, while fleeing, that the Red Room is still active and that its leader, Drakov, is still alive. Romanov's mission when he first joined S.H.I.E.L.D. was to kill Drakov. Both were presumed dead after detonating a building containing Drakov and his young daughter Antonia, an act that has haunted Romanov. Romanov is alive and well today, and Belova eluded Taskmaster and rejoined Mason, who provided them with an aircraft. Romanov and Belova break Shostakov out of prison in order to find Drakov. He informs them that they must speak with Vostokov, a Russian farmer who employs mind control on pigs. Belova admits that she wanted to believe they were a real family despite the fact that they were not. Shostakov and Vostokov admit to wishing they were a real family. Unfortunately, Vostokov gives Drakov their location. His agents arrive and transport them to the Red Room, which is located on an aerial base. As Drakov congratulates Vostokov on his discovery of Romanov and Belova, it is revealed that Vostokov and Romanov wore face masks. Having planned their own capture, they used technology to switch places at the farm. Romanov discovers that Taskmaster is Drakov's daughter, Antonia, who was severely injured in the explosion and was forced to implant a chip in her brain to help her, turning her into the perfect soldier. Romanov discovers that she cannot harm Drakov because he installed a pheromone lock in every widow. Drakov has been controlling widows all over the world via his control desk, and she notices. Romanov manages to sever a nerve in her nasal passage to negate the pheromone allowing herself to attack Drakov after goading her into punching her in the face. Vostokov tries to remove the ship's engine. Meanwhile, Shostakov is fighting Antonia, and Belova is looking for the other widows were dispatched to protect Drakov. Drakov flees as the widows surround Romanov. Belova, on the other hand, creates a red dust bomb, freeing the widows from their mind control. Just as the red room begins to explode and fall, Romanov arrives at the control desk and copies the locations of the other widows around the world to a portable drive. Romanov picks up two vials of red dust that survived Belova's bomb before leaving the control room. Vostokov and Shostakov are forced to flee the ship by plane as Belova destroys Drakov's escape ship, killing him. Romanov hands Belova a parachute as she and Antonia fight one last time through the sky before landing safely on the ground. Natasha applies a single vial of red dust to Antonia was liberated from her mind control. As Belova, Vostokov, and Shostakov say their goodbyes to Romanov, the rest of the widows arrive. Belova hands Romanov her vest as a memento and Romanov hands Belova the last red dust vial and the portable drive, instructing her to find and free the other widows. Romanov awaits the arrival of Ross and his men as they depart, along with the recuperating Antonia. Two weeks later, Romanov reunites with Mason, this time with blonde hair, and provides her with a Quinjet. She rides away to free the Avengers, who have been imprisoned on the raft. Belova meets Contessa Valentina Allegra de Fontaine, now her employer, at Romanov's grave in a post credit scene set after Romanov's death. Belova's next assignment is to take down Clint Barton, whom she accuses of being responsible for Romanov's death.